Good morning. I'm just sitting here on one of our new benches on our newly constructed ADA ramp, enjoying the sunshine while I'm waiting for Rachel and Robert to arrive. And as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking about a couple things that Janet said to me this week. Last week, she saw two teenagers sitting right here, eating their lunch and looking at their phones and enjoying conversation together. And then another time while she was watering the plants, she saw a van pull up that let out two little children with strollers and baby dolls. And then they sat and watched while they let the children run all around the ramp walkways and play for a little bit in the evening. And I think I told you last week in our update that when I was here one day, I saw a row of cars out at the ball field and I watched a team of kids play while their parents sat nearby. And I couldn't help but think, even though we're not in the building right now, God is still using this building and these grounds to be a blessing in this community, in this time and place. Is there anything too wonderful for the Lord? That's the question we're gonna to ponder today as we continue our journey of blessing with Father Abraham. Is there anything too wonderful, too extraordinary, too difficult for the Lord? Let's have a quiet moment of prayer as we prepare our hearts for worship and open our whole selves to this question, is there anything too wonderful for the Lord. Gracious and holy God, we thank you for this big beautiful world that you have given us to enjoy. We thank you for all the ways that you are using the resources that you have given to us to continue to be a blessing in this community. Lord, we ask that you open our hearts and our minds to your expansive goodness and grace as we come to you and worship this day. May everything we do in this time together bring you honor and glory. And we pray all this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen.